can I tell you that a man is no more than his word? You'll soon or later learn that it doesn't matter what you have if you can't keep your word. It doesn't matter what you look like if you cannot keep your word. It doesn't matter how smart you are if you cannot keep your word. Your word is everything. It is your bond. If you say that you're going to do something, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I found out that some of us keep our word and some of us don't. Some of us keep our word about certain things and we don't about other things. How can I tell y'all this? There are some real nice people that I would take a check from. Y'all miss what I just said. But God says that I'm not a man that I should lie. If I have spoken it, I will bring it to pass. And that's a good place to get excited right there. God says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. In other words, God says, whatever I say, you have my word on it. God help me here. I don't know about you, but I'm alive today because of God's word. And when it didn't look like I was going to be blessed, and when I didn't feel like I was going to be blessed, all I had to stand on was the promises of God who already say, I will bless thee. Tap your neighbor and say, God has promised to bless you. Tell them again, say, God already promised to bless you. Tell them one more time, say, God already promised to bless you. I don't know who needed that today. Look behind say, God already promised to bless you. Somebody sitting on your road, they don't feel like it, but tell them again, God already promised to bless you. Amen. And appreciate the word of God over your life. And many people come to church and don't have an appreciation for the word of God. We like the music. Well, I miss it. There are people who choose churches based off of the music. There are people who choose churches based off of if there are prestigious people there. Not listening to the word. Not studying the word. And the enemy, ladies and gentlemen, is out to steal the very thing from you that will give you life in the time of a need. Does anybody hear what I'm saying? We praise God real good, but the question is, do you fully understand why you praise? Somebody missed it. And when you don't have spiritual depth, watch out here. When the doctor tells you that they see a spot on your lungs, you ready to give up and die. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait just one minute. I thought you were saying that you believe God. I thought you told me that God was speaking to you. I thought you told me that you were anointed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. So the question is, why are you panicking when your bank account is low? Well, you don't need to preach this right. Why are you ready to give up and die when you go to the doctor and they give you some bad news? Can I tell you? It's because you have no roots. You have no roots. You have no roots. And I'm not saying that we won't have doubts and fears, but you must understand the word of God that you are receiving every week, that word is going to be tested. God, help me in here. Uh, it's all the way from the pulpit to the back. The word over your life is going to be tested. And the enemy is not going to allow you to hear good word and not come against you. God, help me in here to see 
if you have any roots. God help me in here. Can I tell some of y'all saved folks, you're not going to just skip your way into heaven. God help me in here. And never come up under any attack. If you're not attacked, he's going to attack your children. If he doesn't attack your children, he's going to attack your spouse. If he does not attack your spouse, he's going to attack you at your job. If he don't get you at the job, he's going to attack whatever your last name needs. Take a step. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 